What is your evidence that Monograph is a child molester? Yeah, again, what is your evidence? Prove it. Go ahead, do, Nick. You prove do, it. Again, you he, don't understand defamation. Yeah. See, notice he couldn't even the sh shotgun to his child's head. Prove it. What? Where's your proof? Show the proof right there. And uh, and if you don't, you you have sixty seconds to prove it. And uh, right there, the the those first words out of his mouth, dead child. Nick Ricada would have murdered his own child by his own choice, by the way. This isn't like a fucking hypothetical where somebody else kills his child even or the machine, you know, hooked up to an AI or whatever kills it. That's Nick Ricada murdering his own child by choice. By if, you know, if it came down to that ultimatum, he would do it and then he would do it again. It would be like the shotgun would go off, his child would be dead, and then there would be the next child with a shotgun to their head and would be like, okay, Nick, you got four more chances. Fucking go ahead. Show proof or, or even make an argument that uh, uh, Monograph is uh, in any way involved with any actual pedophilia right now. Do do it right now. Just you don't even have to show the evidence. Just fucking just say it. Say where where you think it is, or where you saw it, or where it was mentioned to you. Anything. Um, and the the first thing he would do is change the subject. And again, shotgun would go off. His child would die. He would be down to three, and be like, "Okay, you got three more chances. You got three more children." So. Here's your chance to save the rest of your kids. Directly address the accusation. Where is the evidence? What is your evidence? And again, Riketa would just change the subject. He would just make some semantics argument and watch all of his children murdered. And his wife too, I'm sure. Just every single... He'd probably bring his mom and his dad in with there. And they would... The, the shotguns would just go off on all of them. And Ricardo, and I, I do genuinely think that even if Ricardo, if the shotgun were turned on Ricardo at the end, and be like, okay, your entire family is now dead because of you. Now you're the last one. This shotgun will go off unless you say who fucking you know. Where is the evidence that, um. That monograph is actually a pedophile in any way, just just any evidence, any even accusation that could be looked into at all. And um, and that would be it for Ricada. If it, if it was down to that, Ricada would have been gone yesterday. And the thing is, he would have murdered his entire family. Too. He would be responsible. It's not a it's not a question of, oh, the people who put it because I can understand that. That's usually who is responsible is the, the people. Uh, uh, Jigsaw is the guy who's it's funny. Uh, uh, we just saw saw we saw saw again um, for movie night. Uh, the last movie night last week, um, October went to it's October the 26th. Okay? So it was like the 20th or something, whatever. Um. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Uh, the 19th, maybe. Perhaps. Or the 20th. You know, oh, whatever. Who cares? I think it was the 19th. I'm not good at math. And you know what? I don't even care. Uh, uh, not that I'm not good at math. I am not good at math, but more importantly... I don't care! Yes. Thank you, soundboard. Why say it when I can just play the soundboard? That's funny. It is. That's true. Is that funny? Yeah. 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 Anyways, um, yeah, that would be uh, that would be it for Arcada. And in in the movie Saw, though, they're like, you know, technically, he never kills anybody. And it's like, if he's putting them in the traps, he is responsible. The Jigsaw guy, he's completely responsible. If he's putting them in the traps and just being like, you have to do this or you'll die. It's like, it's not them committing suicide. You're the actual responsible person. And I, um, I think that goes for every situation except in this case with the, in this hypothetical with Nikrakata, if some machine or whatever, so that it wasn't a, even a person with a shotgun. If it was a machine, 
with a you know some kind of thing that would pull the trigger uh, to his children if he simply changed if he refused to directly address an argument. Uh, it's like just just directly address the argument and the shotgun will not go off. Your entire family will be spared. The entire test will be over. It's like that should be the plot for Saw Eight Hundred. Whoa. Um. But uh, that isn't this doesn't this? Oh, I don't know. I guess. Oh, oh, this opens. But um, yeah. Uh, it, uh, like all it would take is just one time when Nick direct even. Nick saying, okay, no, there's no evidence. That right there. Just directly address the fucking the ac accusation and just admit that there's no evidence that you... You don't even have to say that you lied about Monograph. Just say that there is no evidence, evidence even, that uh, he's a child molester. Right there, and then shotguns diffuse, the machine shuts off. Your, your family is saved. That's all it would take. And Ricardo would never do that. He would watch his entire family get their heads blown off one after the other. Um, because he cannot ever directly address anything. And um, that is why. That is why. And, and here's the thing is that, again, this, like I've been saying this entire video, like we've been saying for years, none of this was ever new. Rakeda has been like this for years, since the very beginning, and we have been pretty much the only people pointing this out. I will give uh, some credit to Vicky and DA. And again, I would normally give credit to PPP, but the fact is when he went soft on Rakeda, I consider that to be over. R PPP does not deserve the credit for that anymore. Because again, he had, a, he had the chance to, um, to hold Rakeda accountable. And instead, Worski, uh, you know, either fucking put the gun to his head and been like, we're going to go soft on Rakeda now. And PPP obeyed obediently and pushed out. Or just, uh, or he just pushed out in general. Um, he actually thought Rakeda was a good person, even after years of saying that he was a disingenuous, slimy lawyer and all that stuff which I enjoyed listening to. I thought that that was the stuff I liked about PPP. Is this a, oh no, okay. Um, here, wait, yeah, back to, back to this though. Mondegraph has to prove I'm lying. That I'm no, acting with knowledge of again, a falsity. I'm again, Mondegraph won the lawsuit. So he didn't. And, and the fact that people ever said that Rakeda knows anything about the law here, right here, that just proved that you're not just that Nick Ricada doesn't know, but that you are wrong for thinking that no he ever knowledge did. of the falsity. But I do have reason to believe that the guy's a child molester Listen, based on wait, 10 wait. years of people calling him a child molester, based on his own Again, statements, based on, based based on, on accusations. Him saying, when, when confronted Again, by the fact that he photographed Again. naked children, he's like, but their parents can. No proof. He's just saying other people accused him, therefore it's true. He's admitting that it's a falsehood. Again, he did this with us too. He didn't accuse us of being pedophiles though, but he accused us of fucking threatening um, uh, Tug's family and daughter when it was provably he false. to it. That's not acceptable to me. Hey, more evidence. Like a child molester can grab a that camera we were right like a Canon EOS even or whatever. Being innocent. Be like... I want to photograph naked kids and their parents are like, yes, we accept. He's like, that's not child. No, that's still child born. Don't do that. Still yeah, see, Nick deserves to still lose offensive. Still the entire lawsuit. Nick just loves free peach. Just stop from lying. I haven't lied about any. Like, what do you think I'm lying about? See, again, especially in regards to monograph. Nick, Nick did you lie. Said my, monograph is a he child constantly lister. says he I'm didn't pretty lie sure after I did, he yeah. lost. All of the quotes are in the complaint. I've never denied them. This, this is yeah. a weird tactic that Monica. We, uh, uh oh, it's what kind of tactic is it? What? Weird. But here's the thing is that Nick didn't just deserve to lose the lawsuit from this. Nick does absolutely. He deserves jail. He deserves a lot of things. And um, I guess I won't uh, fed post that hard, though. Oh, this actually looks decent for this stupid uh, 
quest. Anyways. But yeah, I, I, I don't want to go that I shouldn't go into that much. Detail. That would be wrong. You see, that would be wrong. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? You can check out the rest of this video on our Subscribestar, linked below.